Morena Fana, no my hide in my kitchen MPI TV. Ko Nathan Takuengoa, ko Ashton Takuengoa. Today is ramen to rua to koma lima. Here are your notices for today. Mr. Stevens, tennis tournament and trials. Miss Wallace, Mother Language Week. How has your Mother Language Language Week been? She is a gift for Pusula Superstore. Now let's watch a video about International Mother Tongue Day. It's him a bit. Salam Kobit, Musta. Marhaba, Sabela Namaste. As you've just heard, there are many ways to say hello. All right. <laughs> Ach, I thought I'd give it a go. All right is a word that Scottish people use to greet their friends and family. I'm not too sure if it's an official way to say hello, but I think it's cool anyway. Did you know there are more than 6,500 languages spoken around the world? Doesn't that just blow your mind? Of course. Some languages are more common than others. Does anyone know what this guy just said? No! no. The most commonly spoken language on the planet is Mandarin, with nearly one billion speakers. What? Second on the list is Espanol, or Spanish, with roughly 390 million speakers. And English comes in a close third, with about 365 million speakers. But there are a whole lot of languages that aren't nearly as common. For example, my younger sister can speak Gaelic, which is an indigenous language in Scotland, which of course is my homeland. And it's thought there are around 60,000 people who can speak it. Now, funnily enough, to say hello, it's the same in English. But to say good afternoon in Gaelic, it's Matinva. Many people think that language is an important part of culture, but there are many languages around the world that are in danger of being forgotten. In fact, 43% of the world's languages are endangered, and every two weeks, one of them disappears. These kids are working hard to preserve one of Australia's endangered languages. It's called Ghana and it belongs to the traditional owners of the area around Adelaide. It's one of more than 250 remaining Australian indigenous languages. There used to be more than 400, but after colonisation, many people were forced to stop speaking their native tongue, and many were forgotten. By the 1980s, Ghana had all but disappeared. You've got Na, that's the right pronoun. But researchers and Ghana people have worked hard to bring it back. And now, it's being taught in schools like this one. It's been here for like a long time and also because like it's my language as well. I think it's important that I speak this language because it just regains a bunch of years back and it can sum and like one little word can mean a lot to our ancestors. When I look back to see when the was almost extinct, I was shocked but also excited that they're starting to bring it back. And right around Australia and the world, there are other people like these guys working hard to make sure that languages survive. Happy International Mother Language Day! Happy International Mother Language Day! Woo! Wow! Miss King, Netball. Today is the last day to register for Netball. If you have not yet registered, 
Please come and see Miss King in room two, who can help you. Showers are, take, are taking place next week on Tuesday and Wednesday. Everything you will need to know will be posted on Hero. Miss Davidson, basketball. If there is anyone who would like to play social basketball, please let Miss Davidson know as soon as possible. Email or come to room 2047 to see her. Here is some more amazing art made by MBIS students. Friday. See you same time, same place next week.